Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness, in which we'll have our drawing at the end of the video. But first, let's have our shout out to Jen, Debbie, Becky, Daggy, June, Sherry, Dawn, Miss Sanders, and Cor Chris, Chris Ann. I'm so sorry. Chris Ann, I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to set this aside. We'll have the drawing at the end. I'm going to bring some things in. I had been slow stitching on some envelopes and then I decided to slow stitch on some other things. Here is a fold out right here. Do you see the slow stitching on the side of the fold out? So look at this one. This one has a little tassel on it. It's got some stitching here around the edge and on this side right here. I even stitched like this. Oh my goodness. So I decided to stitch around the edge of my cover for this little junk journal that we're going to make. I have a couple of little pieces here that I'm going to use as inserts on the front panels here because I want to make sure I cover up right here where I've glued down my little pieces where I have I didn't tie a knot I just glued it onto the paper I also have a piece of coffee dyed paper for a journaling page and I have another little fold out so let's begin let me show you how I did this so I'm going to move these over to the side and let's go ahead and let's do these two right here. I'm going to grab my very tiny, now I thought I had it out, here it is, my very tiny hole punch. There it is right there. And I am going to simply just punch a hole. I'm going to, they're folded together like this. They're folded. So I'm going to do them both at the same time because we're going to be stitching across the top of our little cover. So placing my punch in here and right here, let's see if I can show you this, right here on this little piece right here, this is what I'm judging my spacing. And I'm just going to punch and I'm going in just about the same amount. I, I'm not measuring. I'm just punching. I just punch along. And as you see, I'm not straight. Now I suppose you could draw a line if you really want it to be straighter and really be, you know, if you have a thing about making sure it stays straight. Let's go ahead and punch this one. Now this is the part that fold, uh, glues down onto your, your junk journal and then it just opens out either this way or it can open out this way and you can journal on. Now these folds, someone's going to ask me how I folded this. This fold, this larger fold, is about three and a half. The next fold is two and the last fold is one and a half so those are the fold sizes oh I guess there's this one too that one's a half an inch right here all right so let's go ahead and let's punch holes and some holes in here as well so okay let's do let's do that idea that I had about laying down the the ruler and maybe making it so it's a little straighter. So let's try that idea. And so I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm just going to lightly mark right there. Okay. Probably should have marked it on the other side, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take my punch and I'm just going to punch right along here. Oh, let's see if you can make sure I'm in frame a little better. Now, because this is um, single paper, 
it's not punching all the way through. It's not giving me a clean punch. So maybe if I bring in another piece of paper and I use that to help me get a clean punch. I can't see very well. It's a rainy day today and uh, my lighting in my craft room isn't as bright as it normally is. That is helping with that second piece. It's definitely helping get a cleaner punch, but I can't say that I'm being any straighter. <laughs> no, I can't say that I am. Um, no, I'm on the line. I'm off the line. I suppose because I can't see very well today. All right, so I've got some little pieces here. It did okay for a little while, and then it kind of stopped. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these little punches, these little circles that didn't come clean. I'm just going to cut them off. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll come back after I get them all free. Okay. All right, so I've threaded my needle, and I used a very pale pink with the embroidery thread. So I'm going to start coming up through the bottom to the top, and I'm going to just take my art glitter glue. And I'm, whoa, goodness gracious, that's a lot of stuff on the end. I'm going to just simply put a little bit of glue down and lay my embroidery thread right on top of the glue and smooth it out a little bit just so it grabs hold and it holds it securely. That's instead of making a knot. And I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go through my hole twice. I'm actually going to go twice. Now this little journal that we're making, this little, I'm going to call it, It's well, it is a small journal. We're going to add some envelopes to it. We're going to add a journaling page, a couple of fold-outs that you can definitely journal on. I don't like quite how that is laying. Let's see if we can fix that just a little bit before we get very far. Okay. And so, what I was going to say is you can use this alone, and you could give it out in Happy Mail, or you could uh, use it as uh, something you stick in your purse or your satchel to jot down things, or maybe even keep track of receipts, because you're going to have two envelopes, so those are going to be nice pockets that you can use. I know that quite a few of you say you make things here um, on this video, on Sunday's video, when we do the, the um, Kathy's Sewing Happiness, and you say you make things and you leave them different places, which I just think that is really cool for people to find, or you actually physically give them to different people that you run across in your, in your out and about time that you have running errands and things. So this would be a, one of those projects which would be really sweet to do that with. But I know that hand sewing is very popular now in journaling and I'm not very good at it and I also am not very good as, at taking my needle and punching it through the paper without having already having a hole punched in it. So I came up with this and I really think it looks really cute. When you were young, now I know I'm, you know, I'm older. So when I was young, they actually, I think it was my child. I don't think it was me, but they used to have these cards that children could sew and they had holes punched in them. And then I think it was a plastic needle, you know, pretty thick. And it wasn't sharp or anything like that. And they were able to, I think they were called sewing cards. And you could actually sew, just like we're doing right now. And it had holes punched in it, just like these holes are punched in. 
And I just think that, I think that's probably where I got my idea to do this, is those cards that my daughter used to have as a child. So anyway, I this is what I came up with, and I think it's super cute. So as you can see, it, it doesn't take a lot of time. It isn't hard at all. You're just going in and out of already pre-made hole. So what I think I'm going to do is I am going to finish this up and then we'll move on to the fold out. And I will see you in just a bit. All right, so I have come to the end here and what I want to do is just give a little snip, secure my my needle there and I'm just going to do the same thing I did before and just lay a little bit of glue down just to make sure that I have secured my thread. So there we are. It's nicely secured. Now this paper is from A Trace of Sparkle. It's a subscription type um, digital thing. I don't have it anymore, but that is one of the papers that I had from that. So I went ahead and I cut out these two little pieces. I thought they would be nice to go inside. I have not inked any of this project. It's very unusual for me, but I did not ink it. So we're just going to go along with not inking. And we're going to see how that turns out for us. So these are from Mrs. Coggs and she is on Etsy. So I'm just going to add my glue onto my pieces here. And I'm using my art glitter glue. And I'm just going to cover my inside of my little journaling area here. Just like that, making sure that it will fold. I do need it to fold still. The crease, there we go, right at the crease. Make sure it, it's in place. Alrighty, and then let's go ahead and let's add this other one on the other side. So this way I'm covering up all of the pieces that I needed to glue down, like this one right here. And that will be covered up. Now if you want to add pockets to here. It would be extremely easy and simple to do that you could add pockets on top of here. Oh my goodness, isn't that sweet with the stitching? I just think that's beautiful. Now you can even do it this way. That is super cute. Or this way. <laughs> absolutely either way. You could do absolutely either way. I almost kind of like this way better. All right, so I guess we need to decide what we're doing here, either this way or that way. I did design it for this way. I have that journaling piece that will fit right in here. We have this one, and you would do the exact same thing. You would take your thread, and you would just stitch through the holes that you have punched, and you would end up with something that looked like this. And I did a double layer of holes. Let me get this so you can see it a little better. So I did one stitching going this way, just a running stitch, and then the stitch that went around. I know that has a name. I don't know the name, but I'm sure it has a name. So we've got that piece. Then we have the two envelopes right here. So let's go ahead and let's see how we can combine this all inside here. So I thought that this one right here could be pulled out and I'm thinking that it will need to be actually attached onto the page. Now that I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, well, maybe it would be better if it was this way because it's so pink and that's pink. I might just change my idea and have it go that way. Okay, so if we do that, I'm going to add my glue onto my one inch folded area right here. Just like this. 
And then I'm just going to simply turn it over and glue it on. Just as simple as that. Pull it down just a little bit. And then you can pull it out this way and it tuck in. Or you can pull it this way and journal on all that space there. Then what we have here is we have a envelope and we can sew that envelope in like this or we could add our, let's add our paper in next. So that's next. Then maybe we could do something like, hmm, let's see here. Got that one. I don't think it should be. I think we're going to need another piece of paper. Yeah, because that looks really cute, doesn't it? That looks super cute, especially with the tassel. All right, let me grab another piece of paper so that we could put another one right in here on top of this one. That would work out well. I'm looking at this still and thinking, what happens if we glue that into inside of here like that? Oh, we might need to stitch this up since we've already got the holes punched. I went ahead and I grabbed some dark pink right here. I thought that went really well with those flowers. So I'm actually going to stitch this. What time do we have here? It's uh, 16 minutes. Is it 16? It's so hard to see in here. I don't know if it's 16 or 14. All right, I've got some thread uh, and uh, embroidery thread. I've got my needle, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start stitching this up right here, and then we're going to put this together. I think it's going to be adorable. All right, so I went ahead and I stitched the edge. So that's how that looks. Oh my goodness, something happened right there, but it will be all right. All right, <laughs> I don't know what happened. I dropped the stitch, obviously. Let's go ahead and put our papers in. Let's put this one in, and let's go ahead and shall we put this one down and glue it onto that paper there? How will that fold? Let's see, how will that work? Let's fold it back this way. This one's different than that other one. Here, it's going to have to go on this side or it's going to have to go this way. There we go. It'll go on that side like that. All right, so let's go ahead and let's glue this up. So we're just putting the glue on the one inch fold and we're going to get this right in here, just like that. So that will open up. And then we'll have this decoration like that. Okay. And then let's put, uh, let's put this pretty little pink envelope right here. And then maybe this one right here. Do I like that? Or do I want, I really didn't want this to be on the, on the center, but it might need to be on the center because I really didn't like how that laid. How does this all fold together? Oh, I think that's going to be adorable. Let's open it up. And this is the center right here. Let's see how this might work with the envelope in the center. I'm not sure, but let's give it a try. So if the envelope is the center, then let's go ahead and grab a couple of these and pin it down. Okay, the envelope's not going to get pinned in. I could glue the envelope onto that page. I could do that. 
we could pin it with um, with the little altered uh, paper clip. All right, so you know how I do my sewing in. I have a strip, about a one inch wide strip. That's the length this way of the journal, the item that you're going to put a signature in. You fold it the long way, and then you fold it again. Crease it. You open it up. And this is going to tell you where you're going to place your holes so that your signature will be sewn in and the holes will be spaced correctly because I don't measure well. I'm going to go ahead and grab some smaller little, let's see, I'm going to grab my bigger paper clip right here. I'm going to paper clip this in just lightly, right here, just like that. Okay, I'm going to bring in my packing material that I use when I punch my holes. I'm going to bring in my awl, my pokey tool, my awl. I'm going to hold it as close to the two covers as possible, so I'm squeezing it. I'm placing my awl in. I'm going to try to keep it as up and down as possible and not do an angle. You don't want to be putting your holes in at an angle. I'm going to try to hold it as up and down as possible. There we are. Now, hopefully I can remove this easily. There we go. We've got that removed. Now what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to bring in my thread that I'm going to use to bind my little pamphlet. That's what I should call it, a pamphlet. There's one, there's two, there's three. Now I'm not going to put a dangle on, so if you are, you might want to go ahead and leave yourself just a little bit more thread, whether you use embroidery thread, which you could use, or whether you use something like I do. And this is a wax, actual uh, book binding material. And I'm going to start in the center hole. I'm going to just place my needle right in. I'm going to hang on to that tail. I'm going to go in on one of the other ones straight up. Pull it. Pull it tightly, checking to sure that it's not caught on anything. Back down to the very far end, pulling it. Then I'm going to go in to the center again. I'm going to move the center over a little bit, that thread. I'm going to go straight in from the center and I'm going to go on the other side of my, the other side of this center. And I'm going to pull it. Let's pull it tightly here. Just like that. And let's go ahead and give it a tie. I'm looking to see I had a little altered paper clip, clip hanging around. I know it's a lavender, but I think that will still give us the, the look that what it would look like if we just added our little pink envelope, our small pink envelope, into our little journal right here. If we added it, oh my goodness, I think this is absolutely adorable. And then this pulls out. We're going to write on it this way. Now, of course, you could decorate this up with labels and butterflies and all kinds of things. You can add pockets. But I think this is a wonderful way that you can add in hand stitching. And especially if you're not... You know, if you're not really good at hand stitching, like I am not good at hand stitching, but I just think that this is something that is quite adorable. Now, here's that altered paper clip. You just clip it right onto that page, just like that. Oh my goodness, isn't that sweet? Now let's have our drawing for Happy Mail. This is every Sunday we have a drawing for Happy Mail. And how you enter is that you spread happiness. You help me spread happiness by simple acts of kindness towards other people. Letting someone line 
at the grocery store because you have two items. No, you have 20 items and they have two. Letting someone in line of traffic, these things don't have to cost you very much, but we don't know what people are going through. And sometimes just simple acts of kindness towards a person from a total stranger just lifts their spirits up enough for them to keep going. And that's what we need to do, you guys. We need to just keep going. So who has one happy mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward? Do check down below to see how you're going to get your address to me because I need your address to enter simply in the comment section. Tell me your act of kindness or you can type in spreading happiness and that can be your entry. So do check back next Sunday to see if your name is pulled from the fishbowl. And this week, Leanne Roberts. Leanne, you have one happy mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. Do check how to get your address to me. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.